What's up guys? I'm here at the Kansas City Automotive Museum. They're one of my Stephen Cook Media clients. And I've shown them before in the vlogs, but there's always new stuff coming in all the time. And there's actually a few new cars that have come in in the past week or two. So I figured I'd show you guys around. And November is also a camper trailer month. And so they're moving in a bunch of really cool vintage, you know, pull behind trailers, RVs, that kind of thing. So there's a couple of them in here right now, but I figured I would just kind of give you guys a quick little tour. This is so cool, just the fact that it's vintage and just everything packed in here. You know, it'd be so much fun to have something like this and just go on trips across the country. Um, but I mean, it's a little short in here. I'm 6'2", but nonetheless, it's really cool. Well, I finished up a bunch of work at the museum and I'm headed out to Black Horse Motor Works. They're an exotic and supercar repair shop and performance shop and they've always got a lot of really cool stuff out there and I've known Chaz and Vince for a while and so I figured I'd just kind of bring you guys along and show you what they've been up to. What's up? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was looking for it. I didn't want to scare you. Just uh, trying to make noise. Putting the timing belt tensioner bracket upgrade in. Wow. Or I should say upgrade. I should say update. So you have to access it through the yeah. So like the back of the seat through the firewall, and then the valve covers. You have to pull the subframe assembly and all that. So this is a '99, and it has two different recalls that were never done. Oh wow. It's made it uh, what 19 years. <laughs> And both of these recalls cause the engine to blow up if they break. Dang. It's a bracket that was machined improperly, and then uh, the variators themselves would snap off, which is what holds the cam belt to the camshaft. <laughs> it breaks and falls off. Yeah. And then blows up half the engine at a time. <laughs> this is uh. So what are you guys doing on this one? This one is a, well, it came in for oil service, and then <laughs> uh, did a clutch reading, and the clutch was shot. Uh, so it's all torn apart, waiting on parts to get here. We're also going to do exhaust on it, which is pretty cool. We're going to replace that giant dumpster you see there. It weighs mm -hmm. about 120 pounds. Uh, we're going to replace that with uh, two pieces of pipe. It's going to straight pipe. It, nice. Which is a muffler bypass is what it's called. It's literally just an S-bend. It comes off the catalytic converter, comes out the muffler. So we'll have a really good sounding gyro to drive around. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. Do you find many Volkswagen Audi emblems in here? No, it's, uh, well, Audi, yes. Uh, Audi's everywhere. We're right here. Here's the transmission. Oh, yeah, I see. That's Audi. Uh, right here are the heat shields for the CV axles. Volkswagen yeah, actually, yeah, Audi. There you go. It doesn't spent. actually have Lambo on it. It just <laughs> Volkswagen and Audi. There's a couple other parts, too. That's funny. Uh, here's one fun part. People wonder why it costs so much to change the oil on a Lamborghini. Well, yeah. part of the problem is, see that little black cap deep down under the intake? Mm -hmm. That's our oil filter. <laughs> Which, I'm glad I saw that because I'm going to change it while I have the transmission out of my way. So how do you have to access that? Normally, Normally you do it through here. You take a couple of these vacuum hoses and things loose. Mm -hmm. uh, you shield your arm with a sleeve or something so you don't cut yourself on yeah. every hose clamp that's there. And then there's a tool that slides over the top of that. It's a like a Audi, essentially. It's the same housing. So you just turn the housing off. It's a paper cartridge. Change it in the O-ring and then slide it all back in there and try mm -hmm. not to make a mess. This is the oil sump. Relatively easy car. This one has a drain plug here 
and a drain plug on the tank for you know oil changes, the Huracan has nine different drain plugs. <laughs> it's changed quite a bit in those engine models. So when you got a full drive shaft, you got all these panels, all these bolts. Uh, to change the front differential oil, we have to take this entire pan off, which is good fun. The rear is mostly nicer on a Lamborghini than a Ferrari because they leave it open around the sump. Mm -hmm. So you can actually get to the drain plugs and all that without having to take too much apart. On a Ferrari, there's an entire belly pan covering all of this. If it's a normal oil change on newer cars, you often have oil drain plugs you can take out of the belly pan and get to the plug through it. But you gotta be very careful because it'll make a mess. Yeah. We usually will pull the pan anyway so we can do a full inspection when we do an oil change. I'm not right. talking about a manual flappy paddle gearbox like most of those guys have. <laughs> oh, 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 you're looking tough. No. He's like, what's that cat? What are you doing? What's that cat? <laughs> like a... Anything. Merle, smile. You're not supposed to look sad and depressed. <laughs> So it's about 5.30 and I'm about to head out to the group garage and I'm actually, I'm just driving my daily driver today. I have a 2005 Audi Allroad with the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6, but um, my fun car is the 2017 Ford Focus RS that you've seen in previous videos, but I've just been running around in the Audi today and so I'm just going to be driving that tonight. Um, you know, it's fun, it's, uh, you know, it's a little different, it's a wagon and it's got the factory air suspension so you can raise it, lower it, all that kind of stuff. but. You know, it's fun, but it's not fast, but nonetheless, I enjoy it, so it, it makes a good, comfortable daily driver. And the best part is, I almost forgot, is that I have a full bumper-to-bumper -bumper lifetime warranty on this car, and let me tell you, it's already saved me a bunch of money, so that's one of the nice things, is that I can drive this a lot and not really have to worry about it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no! <laughs> Well, we actually wound up hanging out downtown tonight, but it was a lot of fun and you know, I tried to shoot some stuff with my iPhone and include that, but there was just a lot going on and I was just trying to have fun and enjoy the moment. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support and I'll see you in the next video.